It's Last Chance Saloon for anyone in this Highlanders 30-man squad who wants to make an impression to bring themselves into the starting 15 for the next first match of the season. It is the final warm-up tonight. The Highlanders will be hosting the Rebels at Forsyth Bar Stadium. It is the chance for everyone to make their final claim to a starting spot. Who will impress in this final outing? Hello, everyone, and welcome along to Cornflakes Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Highlanders career mode where we're into our final pre-season match where we try out what could possibly be a season-winning idea come later on in the year but for now this is trial this is the chance this is where we test it out and see what works for this Highlanders squad today's lineup has been mixed up once again just a bit we've got John Arfawa coming into hooker he'll partner Franks and Tommy Funa in the front row we've seen last season he played a little bit there in the middle and he impressed getting some scorching tries and relegating his front row partners quite nicely in the middle. Duplessis will partner with Tullock this time in the second row. Sam Kane comes in on the blind side. Warburton, who's off to play with Wales, so I'm presuming based on that news announcement we got last week, he will be out for the first few rounds of the season. He starts at seven to get his last chance to get some match fitness before heading away. Faletau, his Welsh, normally Welsh partner, will start at eight. Pergos gets a return at nine, and here's the real well, a real chancing of the arm. Staying to start at 10. Is that his long-term future? Him at 10. Someone else to play at 12. We've got George North here today. De Jong at 13. Stowers and Savier on the wings. And Bryce Doolin at fullback. It's a real mix-up side this. A chance to see how some players go on new positions. What will we learn? That is to be discovered. The opponents for tonight are the Melbourne Rebels. Now, they've got a real mix-up in their team as well namely a huge signing with Danny Cipriani coming into 10 for the Rebels he'll be outside to Son that's a nice 9-10 with Inman and Lovo Lovo Balavu what's a name what's a name that is playing as centre in the forwards there's some uh, new names some young names some unknown names their forward pack should be decent with Smith and Weeks on the two props Andrew and Tisu will partner in the second row. Question marks. They've got an ex-Highlander here and John Hardy at seven. And Telfua will start at eight. Some big name players there. But there's also a few missing gaps and could ultimately be their downfall. What will the season show for the Rebels? We will have a glimpse tonight against the Highlanders. The Rebels will kick off. They're playing in the blue and white stripes. And it'll be the Highlanders in the all-blue home strip, Forsyth Bar Stadium. Final pre-season match of 2018. Retired big pass, finds De Jong. De Jong gets a fan. And look at the start here for the Highlanders. Big ball wide. It's George North. North of one to beat. He goes to Mifuna. They spin wide. Oh, he's lost it. And it's gone back to the Rebels. And one run from Taufua. Oh, this is good stuff here. Highlanders already quickly into the action. As now the Rebels go left and right. Finding a way through Toby Smith. Oh, that could have been the try of the season before the season had even started as De Jong puts in a big shot. And we've got our first penalty holding on at the breakdown. Tal Fuller looks like he will be the captain for the Rebels tonight as well, which... Well, that's a big call, but I think that's a clever call as well. He is a very, very... Mature, experienced player for his young age as well. Here's Francois Stein with a chance to go early three points for the Highlanders. Strikes it and it's going to wobble wide to the right. Unsuccessful from Stein. Not often you say that. But are those two numbers on the back of his jumper causing pressure already? One and zero. Number 10, fly half. Back to the 22 for the Rebels. So... Drop this out. Oh, this looks like my go deep, but not Same from Kane, who takes his second kickoff already. As his stain through the middle, he goes. A big block duster. Sets it up for the Highlanders. Here's North. North will go himself, and oh, he's been taken. Great tackle from Mitchell. They'll use the ball to Warburton. The Welsh international goes to the left side. Tommy Afuna. Big pass to Young. De Young. De Young slides through one and can't get away again. Our file keeps it alive. 
Kane with a big ball. Finds Falatau. Away for Franks. Franks takes a tackle. Gives to Savia. On the right, Julian Savia. Takes out one big hit. And the Rebels have stolen it though. And they come away on their 22. Are they going to kick this or are they going to run? It's an opportunity as they go back in field. Now they kick. Is he going to run the 22? Oh, I think that might have been taken back from Cipriani. Well, we saw Lovo Balavu get absolutely monstered by Julian Savia. And yeah, here we go. The kick was definitely taken back. So it will be just on the 22 for the Highlanders. All stolen the front. Here's a chance as Rogers puts it away to Cipriani. And he thumps us downfield. Doolin, the Frenchman. He'll slip it up now. He looks left and right. Oh, he's being smashed. Ritalik has to dive. And he just hangs on right on the 22 now. Up forward. Goes away to Stain. He'll smash us back. And now here's some work for Owen at the back for the Rebels. Ritalik has been put on side. Oh, there's a big hit there. Oh, Lovu Balavu has been hammered. The big dreadlocks. See him anywhere on the field. As the Rebels attack again. Big run there from Taufua. Looking wide. As the Beckham field again. Now's a chance. Inman. Inman goes back to Smith. Oh, what a big tackle. Here's Taufua. It's going to be a try. Is it? No. It's Beckham field. And it's a definite one. This one looks like Mitchell. Numbers so hard to read. I think Mitchell has scored. And the Rebels will take the lead over the Highlanders. It is Inman, not Cipriani. It is Cipriani. There was Inman. Oh, big hit there from Smith. This was Taufua. Definitely big ball in field. Finding Cipriani. And he has dotted down. He's the big signing. And look at the impact he's had on this Rebels team. Wow. Love seeing that. George North absolutely plastered to the ground. Big tackle, and he got squashed backwards from Toby Smith. Interesting calls here from the Rebels, having Jake Owen, the fullback, to take the goal kicking. Not Cipriani, it's Owen. Slides in and hits it nicely, gets the two. Wow, Owen. Nice kick from him from fullback. He adds the extras at 7 0. Rebels over the Highlanders. 23 gone. And we have a game on here, folks. This one could be interesting. Highlanders at home, makeshift side, but still no excuses. Kicked off again. Stowers, first time he said his name. Oh, ho, ho. is that Inman again? He slips it away to Mitchell this time. Not releasing. Wow, that was a massive tackle. And there is Mitchell. Oh, we've seen some big hits here. And I'd love to see that one again from Inman. He just bulldozed through the tackle. Putting people on their backs here, the Rebels. The Highlanders are looking a bit out of touch. Stain is going to look for the three points. He's way out here, almost at the 10-meter line, four in from touch. Hits his kick or rides. Has it got to go? No, it's just, just gone on the outside of the sticks. Back there is Stowers, the king of tries for the Highlanders. No way through there. Right in center field. Ritalik, away to North. Chance for progress. Oh, puts a fan. Here's a real opportunity. Our forward has to go back to Franks. They know they're not going to do it. Warburton away to Savia. Savia still has support. He's got Dion. He bumps off the defender. Back and field. Oh, intercepted. And that's a try really? saver. Well, Suyalo, the blindside flanker, has taken that beautifully. Oh, high tackle. Kick away. And it is Duplessis. Putting the shoulder. As they look to clear that up, but it's gone all the way back here. And now they'll kick for touch. Easily found as well from the Rebels. Well, there's some definite big hits, some definite ill discipline as well from the Highlanders. And we've already seen that teams are already good enough to challenge them as Ritalik finds back to Purgos. And Stain goes in field. Beautiful cut in direction. But as his forward's got the support, no. He's lost it instantly. And now the Rebels attack. Here's a big chance here. It's done other than Lobo Bulavu. He kicks deep down in Doolin. 
will take the ball back. Looks to step. Oh, he's got away Dolan. Now he needs support. He's got Stowers. Stowers looks back for Dolan. Dolan's got numbers on his left. Gets it back to Stowers. Stowers, Tommy and Funa. Half forward. Back to Pergos. Oh, that was brilliant from them. They've finally broken down now. Nice. But Dolan and Stowers, how good was that? Now they're going back to Stowers, Tommy and Funa. And loose ball goes to the Rebels. Release. And it's another wasted chance here. Stowers makes a tackle. We've seen two missed penalty goals. There's, here's a big run from Smith. Oh, Burgos turns this over. Thank you very much, he says, and Rotella runs away. Here's North looking to break free. Gets around one tackle. Hits the ball back to De Jong. And the initial tackler gets back up Police. and makes another go. Takes him down. Here's Burgos. From a standing start, finds North. Here's Tommy Funa. Gets those big legs, pump into our follower. And he's staying now. And the short break goes through. But Purgos has to go down on it. His last pass is just aren't all working at the moment. Here's Kane to Duplessis. He finds a half gap. Goes to De Jong. And De Jong goes through. Oh, what a step. That was lightning quick. Taken down by the cover defense though. Purgos. Takes the defender out and finds Stain. Stain still got uh, Savia, but Ratalik has to come down. Savia gets a big Kane. Kane scores. Well, 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 well. Where did that come from? That was just some huge, huge play throughout that last passage. We have seen some fantastic things from this Highlander side, but that one was right out of the top drawer. It wasn't pretty. It was, in fact, extremely messy. But they got the try in the end, and there was some absolute fantastic interplay between this squad. From where it started with Stowers and Doolin, that was just magical. And it continued. There was more passes. There was more cuts. That sidestep from De Jong that got through Jay Cullen was absolutely mythical. I've seen nothing lightning fast like that before. And it's just gone on and on until finally they have scored. Here's Stain on the 22. Strikes another. It's third now that he's blown wide. The second penalty was very close from a hard, hard kick. But these two, their first penalty in this conversion, well, dreadful kicks from a man of Francois Stain's ability. They have been surprising misses from him. As we go to the sheds for halftime, 7-5 the Rebels lead. But look at these stats. These are surprising. 53% position to the Highlanders, 47 to the Rebels. That's not too bad. That's fairly even. But territory, look at that. 77 to 23. Highlanders have been absolutely dominating this one. Line breaks tied up at 5-all. But it is a handling errors. 11 from the Highlanders, 0 from the Rebels. That's the difference in the end. Those two points are all that the difference is on the scoreboard, but the Rebels have dominated most of this match, and although they don't on the scoreboard, they probably feel they should. Look at the tackle difference as well, 41 to 14. The Rebels have been just constantly on defense. The penalties given away from the Highlanders, the mistakes, that's what's keeping the Rebels in it. It's giving them good exits, it's giving them good kicking chances away, and as a result, they're making most of what they've been gifted. Can the Highlanders clean up in the second half? Will they look to the bench to close this one out? Or will the Rebels continue on? And could they possibly get a massive upset heading in to week one of this 2018 Super Rugby season? We will find out. Let's get back down to the second half. Well, Francois Stein has been nothing short of disappointing so far in this match. He kicks his back underway into the left side. He goes, a deep kick and chasing his towers and De Jong. And a big tackle as well from De Jong. They switch left and right. Hands over Balavo. Oh, North had to make the tackle, but not like that. Another mistake from the Highlanders. How soon do they look to the bench? That's the question. This team is just disjointed and all over the place, surely. They have to look to other options. Kicked into touch and a chance for the Rebels to really lay down the pressure. Line out for 
Tula full it for the Rebels. Haven't seen too many line out to that. Could be why? Because Warburton has stolen it and it is staying. It's running hard. Straight at the defensive line. Highlanders regather and they put the ball to the deck. Here's a chance. Burgos. Oh, and a Savia. Savia slides through. Can he link up with the support? Finds De Jong. De Jong still got a man there with North. North cuts in. He fends. And George North will score. An absolute stunner. That is world class. And George North has finished it with a customary fan. A bulldoze. A smashing for the defence. Wow, cometh the man, cometh the team, De Jong and boom, get out of here, he says, sweeps them away, oh, elusive at his best, the Highlanders, that's why they're the champions, that's why they're the best team, Savera first receiver, De Jong, oh, such sweet hands from Johan De Jong, he is sensational, what's a suggestion to bring him to the Highlanders, and we have got some special try scoring ability, George North, Gets another one for the Highlanders. Well, that has put them in the lead. As we look now to this man, Stain, who has been off his game. You can say that timidly as well, but this looks good. And he's back. He's back with two. The Highlanders get the extras. It's 12-7. The Rebels now behind by five. And we have some changes coming up for the Highlanders as well. Matu coming on. Armitage on for Warburton. And Gordy making his way on for Pragos. We also have Sopoanga on as well as Osborne into the back line. Savir coming off as well. Here's a deep kick here as the Rebels look to get the game back underway. Fountain, dreadful ball picked up from the Rebels. And now they look to get back in the game. Well, there's a chance here. Here's the hooker to the forward. Release. Trying to barge his way through. Gets taken out. Now, Wiggs looks to his right. Big pass. Finding the ball there. Nice and Mitchell, who Release. will surely lose it. Oh, no. He's hung on by a whisker. Advantage. Here's Cipriani. Advantage to the Highland as that's forward. And then a knock on as well from Tafua. Double mistake. As there was John Hardy trying to calm things down. Crouch. Corey on the field. He's up against Dasan, who's Shit. hardly featured in this game. <laughs> Highlander scrum. Steady. Matu'u. Armitage joining this pack. Can they secure this ball and exit from their 22 region? It goes to Stain, and he'll look to do the duties. Puts his boot to it, gets the ball away from Owen. It's going to bounce in on in. Owen's got work to do. He stops and he guns well. Passes. Lover Balavu. Slips. Oh, and Stain has hammered him. Mitch Inman has been smashed from Stain. And once again, the mistake from the Highlanders will allow the Rebels to bust out of their 22. When they're working for this, the Highlanders, they're doing it the hard way, aren't they? Osborne pulls it in and tries to rescue it, but will not go. The line out to the Rebels, regardless. The line out hasn't gone too well. This is only one of the first few we've seen. Tolofua lost the last one. Goes in again and loses another one. Got her away to Stain. And Stain, oh, look to kick. Options quickly. Taken away as Gordy will hit the ball first receiver. Sopawanga. Sopawanga. Oh, he's in the alley through. Great little dodge and dummy as he slipped away. Half tackle. Big pass to Yong. Oh, tackled. Oh, Lover Balava. Oh, no. And Yan Duong's injured. Oh, that is a big loss. Dran De Jong. Oh, well, the Highlanders are really in trouble here because they have taken all their backline subs already on the field. So all that is left is a hooker, a prop, and even it's a beef who will come on to Crouch. play in the centres. This is interesting. See it. Of course, three backs, Gordy, Sopawanga, and Osborne all on the field. So that's the way the ball rolls, and that's what the Highlanders have to go with. Solid scrum. And Fowatau. Look at that, it's a beef on the back line. Finds a Sopawanga. Nice ball, nice offload. Osborne has to run for it. Here we go, Armitage. Hard man to put down. He's such a strong runner with ball in hand. Highlanders get numbers. 
Tell me if Funa will play scrum half. Looks to the left, eyes ball to Stain. Stain goes through. He's got options left and right. Goes himself. Looking to do it all. Oh, he's taken. Lava Palavu. Nice. That man has been in everything tonight. Now the Highlanders. Oh, look away to the right hand side now. Sopawanga. He's still got Osborne. Will he need Osborne? Oh, he does need Osborne. He didn't use him. And the try has gone begging. Would have sealed the deal. Could have gone to Osborne. And he would have slid in the corner. Not to be. Oh, Sopawanga so close. Just seven minutes remain and this one is close. Matu will throw in all the way to the back and Armitage takes that in. Oh, dodgy ball to Stain. Here's it's a beef. It's a beef. The bulldozer in midfield. Passes off nicely with Tullock. Here's Sopawanga. Another chance for him. He tries to weave back in field. Can't get away. The support is right there. Stowers was still waiting for that ball. Here's it's a beef. Nice ball again to Stain and Stain can't get through. Release. Plenty of players around. Here's Ratalik. Sopawanga, Sopawanga! He's desperate for this try! This time he'll get it! Oh, sweet stamp of his right foot! And how determined was he to get that try? That's his third line break and as many ball carries. He's been electric since coming off the bench. Lemma Sopawanga. Who's going to start their number 10 jumper? Here he is. Look at this. Bang. Oh, goodbye, Jake Owen. Left for dust. Highlanders, well, they've persevered nicely, haven't they? They're up against it a bit. The Rebels have definitely come to play, but bang. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. Jake Owen sliding completely the wrong way. As a try and scored from Lima Sopawanga. Him coming onto the field has meant that this man, Stain, has moved to inside centre. De Jong was it outside. He's gone off. It's a beef now is there. What a change around. 17-7 and full time will ring. That'll be the final score with that two points added on. 19-7. Stain found his range after that change into the centres. And the Highlanders come good with the big names back on the field. Wow, how much you put that down to players like Armitage, Sopawanga. They were two key changes that changed the complex of this match. Gordy as well. How much will Aaron Smith raise this team up? Well, I looked at that man there. Number 13 for the Rebels, Lobo Balavu. He was exceptional. And the Highlanders, well, they've got away with a decent little result in the end. But the Rebels, well, they could have and should have won this match. The second half was all the Highlanders. Kane, North and Sopawanga with the tries. Staying two from three but also missed two penalty goals as well in the early goings. Well the Highlanders were treating it like a proper match weren't they? They were treating it like a must win. They went for every point on offer and it just about got away from them as well. Rebels got points. A try through Danny Cipriani who was, who was very good. He led the team around nice. He scored the try. Kicked well and ultimately all around the match Cipriani was the key signing that the Rebels were hoping for Jake Owen got the conversion but also got hammered quite often at fullback as well for his efforts a decent run out for the Rebels plenty of players who played quite well the likes of Taufua, Cipriani, Gustavo Balavu were exceptional not much else really, oh definitely Toby Smith great performance from Toby Smith on the loose head side of the front row for the Rebels. As for the Highlanders, well, disappointing day until the very end. A lot of disappointments throughout the match. Final stats at full time. Possession 55-45 to the Highlanders and 69-31 was territory also to the Highlanders. The injury to De Jong, that could be massive as we're not overly well endowed with centres. We have to check out post-match what his predicament is. Tackles triple almost by the Rebels and line breaks. The Highlanders just squeaked away at the end. 8-6. The handling here is still a problem. 14-3. The Rebels, well, they should hold their heads up high as how well they played. A good performance from the Rebels. Does that mean good things for them in the future? I'm not too sure. We will see in the coming weeks. The Highlanders, though, showed their tenacity to get the result when the chips are down. Let's check out the status of the squad. We'll see where Warburton is and uh, the situation on De Jong and look forward to our match round one against the Chiefs.
Okay, so back to the squad, and we can see we just have one man out for the next round, and that is Sam Warburton. He will be out international duty, as we've seen in the last episode, out for Wales. So he is will be missing. As for the situation on De Jong, he's fit. So that is great news because we couldn't really afford to be without him. We would have had to move Stain to 12 and bring Fikitaro in. Not that that is a bad move, but just having that depth of De Jong will kick our season off quite nicely heading into round one. What we've got to look forward to here is Highland is up against the Chiefs. So we see the Blues have already played their first match. Let's have a quick look through here. Um, they've played one game. They won by six points. Let's have a look at that fixture. They look quite close. Uh, where are we? 26-20 over the Hurricanes. That's a close one. Reds 25-22 over the Waratahs as well. A few close ones to kick us off early in the season. We'll look at those in the next episode after round one. But Highland is up against the Chiefs. Waikato Stadium. First match of the season where the real stuff starts. Without Warburton, what should our first team squad be? Let me know your thoughts. And heading into that first round match against the Chiefs. Thank you all for tuning and watching. I hope you're enjoying the Highlanders career mode here in 2018. Looking for yet another title. But it might be a bit more difficult this season. It's already been a struggle through pre-season injuries. Giving us a little scare. How will the season play out? We will find out in the coming weeks. Thank you for tuning in and watching. If you're enjoying this series and like this video and like this match even. Give the video a thumbs up and show me how much you like this game and loving this series as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.